Yes, good morning YouTube. Mailman just dropped off this uh, box and I wasn't quite sure what it was so I kind of popped it open a little bit and this is one of the Craftsman C3 work lights. I bought this off of eBay auction and uh, seller said it had, box had gotten a little wet. I guess his house flooded I've been wanting to get one of these, and but I didn't want to buy a new one. So let's see. Yeah, I guess it's actually never been opened. You must have uh, purchased this, and then it got. Uh, Once I have all these C3 batteries, I was thinking something like this might be a neat idea. I guess it. Uh, so there's the light itself. Maybe zoom out a little bit. There was actually a couple things I wanted to do with it. One was, um, I could actually see if it works. And indeed, I get a light. This is just off of a NICAD pack. So I guess the head rotates to various angles. You can do that. What else does it do here? Oh, that's how you get the uh, bulb out. But one of the things I wanted to do, I've read some reviews on this, and this particular bulb is, it's incandescent. I think it's a halogen bulb, but it's kind of hard to find, and it's rather expensive because it's set up for 19.2 volts. It's not your typical, you know, two, three, four cell flashlight battery. It's not a 12 volt uh, car bulb. It's a 19.2 volt special super duty one. But I've found a an LED flashlight bulb that's internally regulated or has an internal driver and I was thinking that would be a really nice setup. But I needed to get flashlight or the work light before because I needed to see if it was the right bulb. I'll have to take this out and see, but it appears like it's a regular bulb. I think they call that a PR2 base. And if so, I've located a 1 watt LED bulb that runs from 7 to 26 volts. It has an internal driver that limits the current to 1 watt total of power and I'm I think I will get that ordered and swap this out that's the one fault I've heard with these these bulbs are they don't last very long uh, being a filament bulb if you if the you know you have the light on and you knock this over the filaments break so having a filament in there is not a really good thing and it's not very uh, energy efficient. Craftsman 19.2 volt. Yeah, it's a 19.2 volt 600 milliamp uh, bulb, 12 watt bulb, and I'll be going down to 1 watt. So I should get about the same light output and about a tenth of the uh, power. So that's actually good. I actually wanted to get a higher power bulb, but in the 26 volt range they only make a 1 watt. They don't make a higher, they have high wattage bulbs, but they only go up to about 12 volts. So I guess I'll have to live with a 1 watt LED. As I found these uh, meters only measure, let me get that tipped up here, they only measure current flowing from the source to the load. So now I have the battery is the source, the current flows into the source, out to the load, and right there we get 6.62 amps and 12.3 watts. So that's telling me that if I put a 1 watt LED, I'll be at about a twelfth of that current, or about 50 milliamps instead of 620 milliamps. So that should be a big improvement. I should probably get the same amount of light out of there.
So I think that will be a good upgrade. I will, uh, what I'll do is I'll get that bulb, we'll see how to install it, and then I'll run through this same test and we can see what the current and power are afterwards and get an idea of what kind of uh, runtime we can expect. So I think that should be a good upgrade. So I will get back to you with that uh, with that part of the finish that video off. In the meantime, feel free to check out some of my other videos. You can subscribe to the channel for updates. And as always, thanks for watching.